Hello, I'm Ashton Lewis, the master brewer in residence for the Paul Mueller Company. Today we're going to talk about vacuum failure in brewery fermenters. As we all know as brewers, at the end of fermentation we have a fermenter that's full of carbon dioxide. Today we've got a fermenter here that's full of carbon dioxide and we've put caustic soda in the bottom because we're getting ready to clean. So let's get our cleaning started. In order to demonstrate how this happens, we have a milk carton, which is our model beer fermenter. This milk carton is full of carbon dioxide and we have our cleaner, our sodium hydroxide, that we're going to add to the fermenter and we're going to watch what happens. We mix it up just like what happens during tank CIP and as you can see it's starting to implode the tank. What's actually happening is the reaction between carbon dioxide gas and sodium hydroxide liquid and the product is sodium bicarbonate solid. This is what causes the vacuum to happen. So the key to preventing vacuum failure during tank cleaning is to have a vent line open. The tank we're cleaning right now, we have a racking valve open and this is acting as our vent. In the future, if you have a question about vacuum or vacuum failure, please call Paul Mueller Company. Thank you.